I just arrived at Curiel Castle, which is the highest peak in Valladolid province. This castle or this fortification was first built by the Romans over a thousand years ago. Below is the city of Curiel. Curiel Castle is currently owned by a family here in Spain who about 15 years ago began the restoration and refurbishment of this castle. It was the, the rebuilding of this castle began in 2003 and they completed the work in 2007. This is now a hotel, which is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited to be here. I'm gonna be visiting their private bodega, their little winery, the Antigua de San Martin. And I will be joining Jesus, who is one of the family members who does own the castle hotel. So let's go ahead and go inside, learn more about the history of the castle hotel. So come on in and join me. Well, I just realized that's not the interest that you just saw me walk up. That is definitely not the entrance. This is the entrance, so I'm going in excited. So come on in and join me. Muy buenos días a todos y bienvenidos al Castillo de Curiel. The hotel has a naturally lit indoor patio, several areas to relax and read a book, comfortable rooms, and a relaxing terrace with stunning views of the surrounding countryside. It was lunchtime and I ordered some delicious croquetas with ham and cheese and paired it with some tasty red wine. I just finished an amazing late lunch, but as you know, the Spaniards eat, uh, you know, lunch around two to four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it was absolutely delicious, but I just learned uh, while eating that there are 24 rooms in the Castle Hotel, and each one is named after a king or queen from Castile, or that was Leonese, uh, of the, the two provinces that joined many, many centuries ago. So a lot more history, uh, fantastic to learn about that, that little nugget. But we're gonna go now, I'm gonna go change, uh, get ready for, uh, dinner a little later and but let's go ahead and go inside and explore the, the the castle hotel go up to the terrace and take some pictures and of course some more videos while exploring more of the castle I ran into Jesus who offered to give me a private tour of the hotel's private bodega La Antigua de San Martin which is located in the city of Puriel Jesus's family converted a thousand year old church into their own private winery. Jesus discussed prices, availability, and the history of the church, which still has a small chapel inside. I'm up on the terrace of the castle. Uh, the views from here are just uh, beautiful uh magnificent uh, it's it's gorgeous you can see the entire valley from here i can see Peñafiel castle uh behind in front of me here uh but i had a fantastic day uh here at the uh, castle hotel i was able to see the bodega uh the antigua de san martin i was able to have a, a phenomenal lunch and see the rest of this uh, castle hotel learn more about the history uh, so i'm very grateful and i am hoping that you will come along this coming fall and spring of 2018 to share in this journey, to share this experience, uh, taste some really good wine from this region. Uh, tomorrow I'm off to Bilbao uh, to visit uh, the boss country and I know you're going to come along. So uh, we will be taking a lot of videos and pictures uh, of the uh, museums there, uh, restaurants, and hopefully we're going to encounter of course some good wine uh, after that we're going to be heading to la rioja region another wine region a world-renowned uh, wine region in the northern part of spain so come along looking forward to sharing the journey <laughs> 